Ladies and gentlemen, I know the world's kind of fucked up. I don't know about you, but uh, I've been stuck home for two weeks and I've been bored. So I'm going to take you to the Graham Junkyard and show you the bike that I pieced together. I don't know Graham Junkyard, but this is my Graham Junkyard. Oh yeah, here she is. Well, let's hog up on the ramp to show you what's up. Take it easy, dog. <laughs> what we've got here. All new, April 2020. My first signature frame, the grind frame. As you can see right here, denim, Cox. Skull and crossbones, missing the tooth. Just kind of like me. I wish I could take my front tooth out, but I got that fucker fixed finally, so. Unless Sauce throws another rock at my face, should stay in my head pretty good. No, hey, fucking quit throwing rocks, bud. Comes in three colors. This beautiful raw to match the bars and these sweet forks. Uh, it's gonna come in black and it's also gonna come in that military green that Donnie Soldier had for last year. Cause I couldn't give up that color. I love that color so much. This thing's fucking it. All right, so what is different about this frame compared to the other frames that BSD has to offer? It's kind of a mixture of the Alex frame and the Paley frame. So back here, you got the Paley rear end it's a 12.8 to 13.2 rather than the Donachi 12.5 to 13. And up in the front end, you've got the Alex D signature 75.5 degree head tube. So it's nice and steep, good for nose manuals and hangers and things like that. On this frame, you've also got your beautiful integrated seat clamp. And back here, you've got investment cast rear dropouts. And you got this bad boy. For super tire clearance, you got this investment cast yoke. And you'll see in there, it's so wide. You can fit the biggest tire they possibly make in there with tons of clearance to spare. Me, I personally have bent wheels all the fucking time. And it's not because of the product. It's because I'm a fat motherfucker and I don't know how to spin. Check me out. But with this frame, you can have a fucked up wheel and that shit's still gonna spin without rubbing. Up here I got the Jones and Forks as always, a little steeper offset, also good for the hangers and whatnot. Uh, right here, you can see my beautiful fuck street sweeping sticker. Because there's nothing that I hate more than street sweepers. Except maybe coronavirus, because well that shit just sucks ass. On this bike, I decided to change it up. Instead of going with the NASA rims this time, I actually decided to go with the arrows. Pretty stoked on those. As always, I got the BSD West Coaster Free Coaster, spinning like a top. Uh, here, I'm running 165 millimeter BSD Substance Cranks, and these are the XL Daddies. That's got a 24 millimeter spindle. I don't know how many splines, who cares about the splines, but them things are beefy. And on the end of those bad boys, you can see that I finally got rid of the green pedals. Right here, I got a sprocket. It's 25 teeth, and it's got a guard. So, I ain't breaking no chains or no problem. Having no problem with that. What else we got? Plastic pegs all around. I go with the longer ones because I like it long. I think the last thing we didn't talk about was these bad boys. Ram bars. As always. And forever. I'll forever run them. Four piece bars at the way of life. In the exact same bra as this beautiful fucking frame here. They're nine inch rides with the. Well, shit, I used to run a quarter inch spacer there, so they'd be like 925, but step down to the 9. Um, I run these bad boys with the one inch oversized stem because I'm telling you, the shit does not slip. Nobody fucking listens to me, but I'm telling you, I have nosedived off some shit. Shit that should have broken the bars in half, and then they just don't. Doesn't slip, doesn't move. Gorilla grip, right fucking here. This is what you want. One inch bars, one inch stem. That's the magic combo right there. Yeah, so since this coronavirus started, I decided to fuck California. I'm over walking to the gas station and seeing people wear gloves and masks and shit. So I think I'm gonna get in my car and move to a town with 600 people. That's the best quarantine you can have right there on four acres, plenty of spot to ride dirt bikes and all that shit. I got my little baby brother, I got my mother, and I got my fucking father there. So I'm out. I'm gonna go spend some time with the fam. I got no time to hit the streets before I go since I'm leaving at 2 o'clock today. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take this bitch off the rack and see if maybe I can get some clips on this thing for you. Straight up. That's that frame. Yes, sir. Everybody knows you don't got pop like that. No, I don't. What I'm did it for boy. you? That fucking frame right there, baby. Check it out. Ouch. Couldn't do this without one of those. God damn. Fucking scary. <laughs> All right, well, now you've seen my bike, you've seen what it looks like. Yeah, this bad boy should be available sometime in April. I'm not real sure when, but you can expect it in any one of your stores coming up. Now I'm gonna take it off this fucking rack. Throw it in my van and fuck off. Let's get rid of it. Uh, yeah, we got her pretty much stuffed to the gills. Just enough room for one bike. New BSD shit. Can't forget that. <laughs> Alright boys, adios, I'll see California in a month.